How are you doing today, guys? I get a lot of questions on the uh, leather lanyards that I do on the knives. Uh, I believe I've made uh, one of these videos in the past, but not in HD and certainly not as clear as it could have been. So anyways, here's what you're going to do. You're going to buy some of these leather shoe strings or boot strings. I usually buy the brown or the black because even brown is pretty much black, if you can see. So they're only like 3 or $4, or something like that, and you'll get two uh, pretty long pieces. So really cheap. And uh, when you tie it up at first, it's going to not be very pliable. It's not going to be well broken in. It'll look a lot like this. More on this knife later if I haven't posted that video yet. Gorgeous. Uh, but anyways, you see how they look new? When you carry them around and use them for a while, they get real soft and pliable and break in. And then you can kind of keep just adjusting them a little bit here and there. And then, I don't know, after about two weeks, you won't have to fiddle with it anymore. And you will just see it's a nice, soft leather and should be, you know, pretty much black from all the grime and oils and all that. It doesn't look dirty. It'll just darken, you know, with use. So I time on my slip joints too sometimes, and sometimes I'll leave it a little bit longer. So anyways, hangman's knot. It's very, very simple. We're going to tie one up to my modified Boker Quake in here. Again, more on this knife later, if I hadn't posted the video yet. Love it. But I think it needs a leather lanyard just to kind of match the earth tones and I don't really want to draw your eye to the back end of the knife but I really like uh, lanyards here's some of my jeans here for pulling out of the pocket so when you have that little pigtail hanging out pull it out and today is a beautiful day about 70 degrees here but um, it does get cold it will be cold soon and I work with gloves on a lot so this little piggy tail really helps me pull it out of my pocket when I'm wearing my thicker work gloves so you can take your leather string here obviously you're gonna thread it through your lanyard hole and you gotta figure about how much of the leather uh, lanyard you want hanging out of your pocket to me I like to make sure it's about right where my pinky will grab the beginning of that knot and it'll just pull right out. So the good thing about this knot, it's really adjustable, but I just don't like wasting more cord than I have to. So I try to get it about right. What looks about right is about six or seven inches on one side and leave the other side really long. This way you're not gonna have much waste. Okay, then so we're going to want to put our noose knot about two inches back here it looks like. We can always adjust it. So leave that short side here. Take your long side, bend it down. And pay attention to the way the face of the cord is going. So you want your black, nice display side on the outside here. Kind of hold that with your hand. Leave that be. Fold this back down and you can all almost make a little triangle here. You see how all my blacks facing this way? And then I'm going to take that piece that we looped down, the long piece, come down and you're going to leave. What we're making is this section here that we're going to wrap the tail around to make this little barrel piece. So I usually, let's see, I eyeball it per knife. Some knives I do a little smaller. If it's a larger knife, you see you can see the difference here. Here's a larger, and here is a smaller. So I kind of gauge it to the knife and gauge it to my use. So this knife, big main carry, I think we could probably do about seven, eight wraps. So that's what we're going to do. So take that long piece that's looped down and bend it over. Keep it tight. And then we're going to wrap it around a few times, paying attention 
to holding this and that blackout and then you're going to wrap it around hopefully this is in focus and then we're going to wrap it around with the black part out the tricky part is getting it started so once it crosses over you kind of flip that get it nice and snug it doesn't have to be super snug right here because there's uh, ways to tighten it up afterwards too I'm going to show you all that this might be a long video but I get this question probably three times a week so figured we'd just make one if I had to tie one on this knife anyways you see I'm using a long piece here this way I'm not going to waste when I cut I won't use any more than I actually need to so let's see I usually go where I think it's going to be good and then I'll go a half a loop more actually that's almost a full loop that might be a little bit too much for this knife we're gonna not go that extra one okay so you want to stop on the back side see how you got this on one side then you got your loop on one side so stop where you're right by that loop feed your end of your long piece through there try to make sure it's not twisted so you keep your black there okay now here's where all the adjustments are going to come in so now this is kind of a guessing game because I forgot which side is which this loop is connected to one of these sides here so we're just gonna pull one down and see which one moves uh, it's this one I guessed right so when I pull this down this is coming down so don't pull that too tight yet because we've got some more adjustments to make let's just remember that on the clip side is the side that will pull that top down I hope this is staying and focused my fingers are all cut up I've been really busy in the shop I kind of apologize but not really it's kind of what I do so <laughs> alright so what I'm gonna do I almost just did it without telling you guys what I'm actually doing here trying to make sure that these are lined up with the black on the outside okay so we know that's good now we're gonna start working our way around this spiral and then we're gonna pull it tight here so let's just do that you see I'm twisting it up and through maybe I should have took the knives out of the background I don't know if it's trying to focus or not so look at all that slack I'm catching out of that ring. Just keep working it around. Again, it should be pretty tight. It doesn't have to be extremely tight. Usually, um, tight without really trying to strangle it is the best because it will stay the most round when it breaks in. You see how nice and round this is. So now we got that slack. Spin it around. You can see how it's getting fed through here to this string. We're just going to pull that tight and that's why we didn't want to pull that too tight because then we wouldn't be able to pull this through. So now we're looking pretty good, but how are we on length to pull out? Well, it's a little too long. I don't want this much hanging out of my pocket, and it wouldn't even be helpful for my pinky. Let's move these guys. Here's my jeans. Normally I just throw this in my pocket and see what's up. This will work for demonstration purposes. need a new tripod all right see that's not gonna be good so let's shorten this up a little bit and if you remember we had that short piece 
when we first made this knot this is a straight piece so we can just hold on to this and push this knot down or did we already do it too tight yep because we've already tightened that up which is fine it's still sliding this is called a noose knot <laughs> for a reason so we're going to spin that around again just more adjustments I think that's getting close that looks good to me that's hitting right where my hand would come to pull it out of my pocket and matches the knife so we're gonna leave about an inch hanging off here I see some guys cut these real short my personal preference is about an inch long and I cut the leather strap at an angle but first let's try to give this one more tightening one more adjustment here because we've really got this we're dialing it in as far as having the adjustment right you see how it's getting pretty around let's just spin it around one more time see if we can pull any slack out now we're going to take that clip side strap pull that down and really cinch this down on top and it was kind of a long video but I promise you there's going to be some people who this will help seems pretty simple a you know hangman's not and it is pretty simple but I've tied so many of these that I'd, I'd just like to see how much more slack I'd just like to give all the little tips and tricks that I've learned there we go so we got a little more slack out of this you can also twist it but again it kind of knocks it out around so actually I like to pull the slack out and you can almost spin it back a little bit now it's nice and tight but nice and round as well and again as this breaks in it'll get more and more rounds but see now we got to pull this down to really lock this knot in place and if you remember this side on the clip side is the one that's here looping around there so that's just grab it grab at the base of the knot here pull it down and you just kind of got to be a man about it just kind of pull on it. again making sure the black face <laughs> that's racist you know what I mean <laughs> anyways there you go see how the blacks lining up nice nice on there look pretty good you can take both straps pull it down you can kind of squish it around in a circle get your circle going let's check it one more time before we cut it and we are almost done yeah that's gonna be perfect for me I could actually slide it down just a touch so I'm going to take that short piece, you remember go straight, and this is going to be really hard because we've already tightened up that knot around all three of those strands already so much. There, just slid it down just a little bit. Alright, one more time before we cut it, and we are done. My next video is going to be on the lanyard knot, so stay tuned for that. will probably be just as long, um, can't really help that. You know, not if I want to show you everything I need to. So here we go. We got a long piece. So we didn't just guess. Probably could have went a little bit shorter on that one short strand when we started off. But it's okay. We're only wasting about three inches here. Now what I do is cut these strands here. If you notice, I even tried to make it so the black faces out on both sides. Then, I'm 
Let's see. I cut my angles like this. It's a little detail that just kind of finishes it off. It makes it all the more awesome. And I, again, how you want to leave yours is up to you. I like a few inch, well, about an inch hanging out. So I got my angle here. Come down like that. Put another angle about right here. There we go. There is the leather boot lace lanyard. Adjust it at the perfect height. Again, as you carry and use this, the leather will soften up. It'll darken up, break in real nice. They're a little bit stiff at first, but you can see after you use them for a little bit. It's really soft. There it is, guys. I'm going to have to reposition my table here. More on this knife if you haven't seen it yet. I will be uploading this video soon along with a bunch of others. This is my personal quake in here. Oh, man. Thanks, guys. See ya.